Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am trying my hand at an onion pie. Um, I first became interested in onion pies thanks to a YouTuber I follow for the longest time. Um, Purple Penny Pincher. She had made onion pies around Easter several years ago. And they looked good and sounded really, really good. So what I'm doing right now is um, lining an unbaked pie crust with foil. Um, I have to actually add another piece to it to cover up this end and this end. Um, so I'm supposed to bake it for six minutes at 450 and then take the pie crust out to cool while I uh, prepare the rest of the ingredients. Now, I'm sort of combining two different onion pie recipes, taking a few ideas from one and the other. Um, for my version, I'm going to be using six onions, slicing them up pretty thin. Um, I'll be frying them up in some butter on top of the stove. I'll be adding, I think, four, four eggs. And uh, using up the last of my cheddar cheese in with the eggs. And, um, yeah, so let me uh, get this in uh, into the oven to bake and start working on my onions. So in here I have the six onions and two sticks of butter. And I have it on low. And I'm going to keep them on here for about a good 20 minutes at least. I just stir them, turn them over, and I'm trying to brown them a little bit. Um, then they'll go into the pie crust, which is right there. Um, in here, I have so far six eggs. I have a half a cup of milk. And I grated the last of my um, cheddar block cheese that I had. I threw in some salt and pepper, and I'm going to add some Italian seasonings um, when I'm ready to pour this. Um, maybe a dash of some red pepper flakes, and maybe a dash of paprika just to spice it up a little teeny bit, um, but definitely going with the Italian seasoning. And um, I'm just waiting for my onions to get done. Last minute, I decided to add, oh, I want to say about a half cup of Parmesan Romano cheese. That's what I had left actually in the jar, and I decided, why not? Throw that in too and stir it all up real good. Um, my onions are pretty soft. In about 10 more minutes, I'm going to actually take them off the heat and transfer them into that uh, pie crust. And uh, then I'll be pouring the egg mixture um, over it and baking it for a half hour. All right, so as you can see, this is a eight inch pie and it fills it up like right to the top. Um, of course, I have enough common sense. I remember this time to put my pie pan on an old cookie sheet. Um, so the onions are really, really soft. Um, and uh, like I said, this cheese mixture looked, you know, really good. Um, so this is going to bake for a half hour at four and a quarter. Um, it says leave it sit for like five to ten minutes before you slice it. So, uh, yeah, let's get this onion pie in the oven and see uh, see how it how it turns out, guys. It's only been in the oven for nine minutes, but this smells absolutely divine. Oh my goodness, it does. It smells amazing. I'm like, oh, I can't wait to cut into that darn thing. All right, I just took it out of the oven. Um, one thing I noticed at 425, I think it browned just at least a little bit too much. 
Um, so I'm actually going to put in the recipe card in this video. Um, I would go with 415 perhaps. Um, yeah, because of the cheese browning too quickly. Um, but I mean, aside from that, oh my word, it smells so good. So I'm going to let this sit for like 5-10 minutes and uh, then I'll slice it. Guys, this is actually incredible. It is that good. And now I know why purple penny pincher um, was making these. They're really, really good. Onion pies. I think it was around Easter time when she made hers. Um, and it's interesting because I was reading like a couple of reviews on different recipes and people, you know, were saying like, oh, they, you know, their family would make them on Easter. I actually never ate onion pie before. So uh, this is definitely something I will make again. It's really, really good and I'd probably make several um, because it's just that darn good. So if you like this video, guys, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, hit my subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that bell for all. So you are notified every time I upload a new video. Take care. And have a great evening. I'll see you all real soon on my next one. Bye.